What's up everybody, it's Hennis here and welcome to Zihuatanejo, Mexico. We're looking at these breathtaking views at this development named Punta Garobo. Today we're going to show you guys the villa that we're staying in. It's a three bedroom in the Rator Flow, amazing space facing these views. And the fun fact is, they're actually relatively affordable. They start around $500,000, goes up to $750,000, and for rental, they start around three to $400 per day, which is extremely affordable. And as always, you can find more information about them in the description, and let's get started. We're gonna start our tour on the back side because look at these views. You can literally hear waves rolling in, cliffs, the lighthouse. Something about the scenery here is so peaceful and tranquil. And of course, to frame this beautiful view, we have the small pool here. It's a dipping pool, but it has a nice infinity edge. They have hand laid stone on the bottom, which feels great on your feet. It's just a nice, above ground design, views are fantastic, and down below you actually have a beach club for this community that we've enjoyed last few days, so I'm sure we can roll some of the shots there. Now, I wanna cover this space. We have a nice covered patio here, opening up to the primary bedroom suite, which is where I stay, and that door actually opens up from my primary bedroom bathroom. Now, coming back here, we have the outdoor seating area, again, all facing the views. Nice gazebo design above with these wood beams and wood columns. It is really hitting that nice, warm Spanish architecture. Now, space is all open. In fact, we don't even have sliding glass doors here. It's that perfect indoor-outdoor flow, and this is how people live out here. You just have everything open, you have natural air coming into your space, and I just love these smooth concrete floors. Over on the patio, we have a little bit of a texture, but in here, it's this super smooth, almost stucco-like finish. And of course, you have your seating area here, shelf on the back, nice open space. I love the stucco walls also on the inside. And right across, we have the dining area with a built-in Lazy Susan. Sits, so let's see, six people comfortably. This is where we work, enjoy our meals. Again, it's all open. That's our driveway right there, which is super cool. Ceiling fans above. Mikey, let's cover the kitchen. Mm -hmm. We have the island in the center, four bar stools, gas stove, vent above, nice organic lines with the cabinetry. Let me, stop, I, let me stop you real quick. We've been seeing a lot of these covers yes. in uh, Mexico. We've never seen this in the States. Why do they have that? I don't know. You know, open it up. It's like a little tempered glass cover for your stove. I think it's just like once they clean it, they just want to keep it neat. Yeah. That's probably why. I'm assuming, if you know why they have these covered plates, let us know in the comment section. And maybe so you don't burn yourself after you cook something on it? Maybe, Yeah. maybe. That could also be the reason. Now, organic lines with the cabinetry, we gotta get a close up, Mikey. Even the cabinet doors are open, they just have a screen detail. There are <laughs> mosquitoes in Mexico, so you don't want your mosquitoes to get in, in your cabinetry. Absolutely. Gorgeous natural stone countertops, we have our dishwasher, nice open space, and again, you, you can either acquire these villas or you can rent them. Let me tell you, we've been enjoying our time over here. Now, let's take everybody this way. This is where we have the front door. Let me show everyone real quick. A little bright out there, kind of hard to see right now. I get it. That's why we should stay inside. That's our walkway. And off of the entry, we have this door opening up to the first bedroom. This is where Mikey stays. I don't have this detail in my bedroom, but uh, it's really nice, king size bed. Ice cold, pretty classic for Mikey. Of course. Uh, literally feels like a freezer over here. Smooth concrete floors. This inlay stone detail that we see throughout the properties here. I just love that they use it as a baseboard. They use it on the floors, in the showers. It's so authentic to this space, not to mention, I'm not wearing any shoes because I feel like I have to do justice to the space, which means I have to look really comfortable because I am really comfortable here. I didn't feel like putting a button shirt on. I felt like walking barefoot because I don't want to wear my shoes around here. It's just yeah. too nice. Why would you? Absolutely. We have two built-in closets on this side and this door opens up to the bathroom for this bedroom. Again, the craftsmanship here, the hand details, the vanities here with the stucco finish and the hand laid stone. Also has a backsplash. Your mirror with this rustic wood. You have alabaster wall sconces, open shelving on the bottom textured stone. I mean, everything about these bathrooms are just so gorgeous, so real and authentic. 
Right above us, we have the rain head with this wood beam detail, hand woven. And below us, we have the hand laid stone again. And Mike, we need to get a close up. They had their drain tucked to the corner, which is this really unique detail that we don't see in the US. And that way, in the center, you're just enjoying your shower. You're not worried about stepping onto the grill. Chrome fixtures, everything you need, great bathroom. Now, I wanna take everybody back to our main hallway, by the way this inlay design on the floor off of the entry. And we have this door opening up to the second bedroom. This one comes with two full beds, nice and spacious, same smooth floors. You have your TV on this side, air conditioning above, beam ceiling details. This is where Armand stays and has a nice private balcony here facing the side of the property. I'm gonna talk about these shutter details later. Of course, we have the built-in closets on this side and this door opens up to the bathroom. Two fixtures, same details. This one has a nice hidden drain and same rustic mirror detail. And let's go through these doors. I just love these outdoor showers. So great. Pretty nice. You're outside. You have the trees behind you. It's a vibe out here. Yeah, it's a little jungle. That's right. That's right. Let's close these doors, Mikey. And let's continue our tour. Now, what else we have left? We tour the common areas. We tour the kitchen. Look at these views. Isn't that incredible? I mean, so special. And we have this door opening up to the primary bedroom suite. Now this is where I stay. King size bed right in the center of the room. Same inlay stone details. I think I mentioned it in every single room. These smooth concrete floors are my vibe. Easy to clean, feels great on your feet. I feel like if I owned this house, I would never wear shoes, never. Now, bed is situated, of course, towards the views. We're right in front of our main pool. In fact, let me show this detail to everyone. Uh, there you go. I have these sliding glass doors opening up to the patio. And let's say you want to benefit from natural air, but you want to block off some of the sun coming into the room. You have these shades, right? They're currently fully closed. So this is how you get your blackout, but wooden shutters. I love these. And you have the screen on the back, so you get a nice flow through the room. Very nice. Isn't that amazing? All right, let's open them up so we have some light in here and a TV around the corner, nice beam ceiling details. You have your closets on the back, some open shelving, AC unit for this room. And over here, we have this door opening up to another gorgeous bathroom. Same finishes, same details, uh, two fixtures, hand laid stone, gorgeous. I'm just like really, Shocked at how easy we got used to living here. And me and Mike are running around like we're locals. Mm -hmm. We don't wear shoes. We got this relaxed vibe. Nobody's worried about channel schedule. And if we're missing it or the edits, we're just kind of having a good time here. Yeah, just, just eating the local food, drinking some local drinks, you know, flying drones in town, just, just doing our thing. Doing our thing, that's it. And another open shower detail. I mean, it's been an experience showering here, looking at these views. I just love natural air, something about it. It's like, I feel like it brings me back to my roots. Mikey, let's go this way actually. Let's do a full circle. And this door right here opens up to the patio space that where we started our tour. That's our pool right there. Amazing villa. We really enjoyed staying here and utilizing all the amenities that this villa provides. So here's the thing, this infinity edge pool is pretty nice. I mean, I can just sit here and look at these views like literally all day. It's so peaceful. I'm, I've been literally watching these waves roll in. And uh, something about the scenery, like I said it throughout the main channel episode, second channel episode, it's so peaceful to be here. I just cannot put my hand on it exactly why, but it's just like, we feel so relaxed. We feel so calm. We feel so secluded in such, in the best way possible. And, um, Amenities like this, the beach club down below, they just add up to the experience and uh, it's truly one of a kind. And that's it for our tour. 
I hope you all enjoyed it. I want to give big thanks to the developers, Punta Garobo, for allowing us to stay in this amazing villa and share our experience with all of you. And if you're thinking about your next vacation, we highly recommend you check out Zihuatanejo, Mexico. If you come out here, rent one of these villas and enjoy the surroundings here, we know that you won't be disappointed. And again, if you want more information, make sure to check out the links in the description. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.